This guy caught uh, a long fin. We're going to salt and cure. Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. We left Cape Town, South Africa to embark on our 740 nautical mile journey towards Valpas Bay, Namibia. Good morning, Dolphinos! Look at that sunrise. No wind, but we got Dolphinos! The rest of the crew were fast asleep after their first night shift. With it being such a beautiful sunrise, we decided to grab some coffee and then get the fishing rods ready to catch some fish. past six in the morning and what is the first thing Ricky does? He hasn't even had his coffee because he's more interested in <laughs> Gotta rig up a little bait. I see some sprats jumping. Still pretty early. Simone just got off her shift. Uh, she did the three to six shift. And then I came on at about 7 and I will go slap a breakfast meal thing and get some bacon, eggs, get some toast going and uh, and then hopefully some fishing going. So let's do this. Mm. This little piggy went to market. <laughs> nice beacon and eggs. Thank you very much, Chef Glenn. Not for a smile. <laughs> Where do you eat your breakfast? Yeah. No, that's not yours. Yours is still stuck in the ocean. You gotta catch it. We'll get some wind soon. We got out our air chairs to enjoy the calm waters while we still had them. Out on the ocean, when it's so calm, is where I'm the most at peace. Check at the skyline. Insane. Magic. And so the next day had arrived and hopefully we could catch a fish this time. The afternoon had arrived and still no fish. So I got down to making us some chicken mushroom pasta. Don't 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you every time we upload a new episode and don't forget to like this video it's a free way you can support our channel Friday just uh, after lunch cruise been fed everyone's had some chow thank you honey but some wind is not from where we wanted it's from where we're going but we got some sails and we're smashing it there so not doing very quick i think we got 10 knots of wind 10 gusting 12 we're doing four five knots and um, it's not the ideal conditions for for this boat but yeah she's handling it pretty good the change that we're expecting tonight and that's what's gonna take us all the way to Luderitz. Should be a super nice sail there. And not too long after trying to dive out the well, we managed to catch a fish. What is your truth? You wanna pull back on the motor? Yeah, pull back on the motor. Real, real, real. That's a beauty. I'll dine sticks! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, dude. Wait, 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 for initiation for Wadey. He doesn't know it yet. He thinks he just catches tuna on his boat with no okay. two little pieces of raw. I'll be nice, I think I'll dab him with a little bit of lemon. We'll probably use the lemon up later today anyways because we're gonna make it. Shake. So dabbed it in a little bit of lemon juice. Sticks, the tradition on this boat is nah, if you catch a fish, <laughs> you've gotta taste the fish. So I've done a piece it, of long fin tuna ah. with some lemon and some pepper. You can grab any one. The yeah, other yeah. one is for your dad, just because he's your father. Oh, he yeah. takes the pain with you. <laughs> is it bad? Oh. No, it's nice. Oh, I've, I've done it before. Oh, no, right. I promise you. I promise lemon. you, you lady. It's not going to be bad. Dip it in the lemon good juice. It's going to taste it's like good. sushi. I want to get all the pepper. Don't you like pepper? Oh, it sucks. <laughs> I thought I'd put in pepper to make it easy for yeah, you. Yeah, it's ready. One, two. Ah. Oh. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, you can't sniff it, stick to your Come on, ready. Just out. Mmm. Your dad said it was yummy. How's it working? <laughs> You prefer the sushi and ocean basket? It's good, but I don't like the lemon and the pepper. pepper. Oh, I put the lemon and pepper, but thought I'd make it easy for you. He should have, he should have put the spur turkey sauce or whatever. You're a legend, dude. You're a freaking legend. Well done. Take us to Valtus. The whole skyline's changed. What you doing, mister? Just checking the whales quickly. Well, both engines were cool because we've been sailing. So I just want to check the fluids. Just make sure that everything's good and on the mark. That gearbox oil, we changed it when we were in PE. Yeah. I mean in, in Cape Town. I did gearbox and uh, engine oil changes. Yeah. And uh, gearbox oil is perfect. There's nothing in it. Oh, that's good. Antifreeze? 
I'm gonna check now. To go. It was a little choppy this afternoon. My our body, our bodies were like worse in machines. But now it's chilled. Wind changed. And I got a little Christmas tree. Dum dum da da dum dum da 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 da. I thought I was going to catch a snoozing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Night, night, wait. Night. I still prison. Take your fishing rod, Santa. Bam. So you can just almost buy Fort Nollis. Then we'll enter Luderitz hopefully tomorrow. Up to Valfus. So day three or four of our trip. I don't even know. But, uh, so it is now 6:30, and I got to watch the sun rise again. It's very pretty, and um, I'm waiting for my house to wake up. Another beautiful day in the middle of the ocean and with that tuna that we caught, time to make some biltong. It's gotten a little bit firm and now we're going to make some biltong. Glenn's got a little, that's what we, if you checked in the previous episode, we went to go get some biltong spice. So biltong is like a jerky but it's dried. So instead of putting it in the oven to, to kind of like bake it or dry it out, we kind of leave it outside and because we're doing it on the boat, this experiment, we're going to put it in the sun and hopefully cure it like that. So let's see if it works. So we still got three days until we had our destination, so hopefully that'll be enough time to cure it and we can do some tasting. Let's check it. This guy caught uh, a longfin tuna yesterday yeah. and uh, Ricky cut it up beautifully. We're going to cook most of it and eat it for lunch today but some of these beautiful fillets we're going to salt and cure so we put it first putting it into coarse salt hour or two let it draw in we'll take that off we'll put it into a mixture of vinegar a little bit of uh, Worcester sauce and then uh, into this fancy uh, Biltong spice that we bought the other day. And then we're going to hang it up on the deck and dry it out and uh, see if we're going to enjoy it, see if it'll work or not. We've got two pieces here really well coated in salt and hopefully that's going to firm up the meat and draw out moisture and then we'll rinse all of that off. So these, uh, these good little fillets have been sitting in the salt for about an hour and a half, drawn in some of the salt, we're going to wash it off a really small amount of fresh water and then we're going to put it into our vinegar and Worcester, so just dip it into wet it again take the final spice. These are stiff now. A lot thinner. Yeah. So I'm just going to give them a really tiny rinse. Worcester sauce is for flavor. Why we eat ice cream on the boat 
We have to keep eating ice cream because we need containers. <laughs> it's not that we want to, it's because we have to. I think a lot of South Africans can relate to this. As South Africans, whenever you eat the ice cream, you keep the damn containers because they're pretty handy, whether it's to clean a carburetor on a dirt bike or on an outboard or something. But yeah. Well, I think there is some coriander in there. If we give it a... We give it a little just and into the flavor. I think we can give it a nice heavy coat. You can never go wrong with some extra pepper. One thing we're still trying to figure out is the drying because obviously out at sea it's pretty humid but we're thinking maybe if we slice them thinner so we've got one thick piece and one uh, thinner piece one's a belly fat section we'll see how they dry and how it works out so, so we're also doing some r d at the same time lunch and when you've cooked your you're going to do fish and rice Fish and potatoes, what did you say? Whichever one. Fish and potatoes fish with potatoes or rice. Okay. You guys decide on so this good. is rice. Rice. So it's rice or potatoes, which one? Rice. Uh, uh, it's rice. So it's rice it is. How's the vibes babes? Day four? Good. You editing? I'm editing so I can go play in a movie. Strong baby. And right here, yeah, today I'm back in the kitchen. It's been a while. I'm a little rusty, but we've got a nice big bowl of uh, pot of rice with some peas. Got some of the tuna fillets. You need you need a lot of to feed a crew like we got. Some lovely olive oil and some of the magic spices is what make this thing happen. Beautiful soft. Look at it. Oh man, oh that's magic. Okay, give it a taste sticks and then share with your dad. First tuna. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh. OMG. That's not hot. <laughs> Do you eat all yours, baby? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> we hung up our tuna biltong to dry and the wind started to pick up. Sayamoya. <laughs> And then the swell started to pick up. Conditions have come up, the swell's picked up, winds up to about 30 knots now. And uh, we're just running one engine because of the swell. It's hitting us high off. We could run down with it. But then the problem with that is that way is land. And uh, I know that swell dies off tomorrow, so I want to try and push as much as we can forward. And uh, we can run the motor, so I'd rather do that. Stay tuned till next week where things get a bit gnarly and we're forced to pull into Luderitz. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already and don't forget to like this video. And if you'd like to join the Lady Africa family, you can do so by clicking on any of the links in the description below.